Please stand. Our opening song is Come to the Water on the white sheet. Oh, let all who thirst, let them come to the water. And let all who have nothing, let them come to the Lord. Without money, without price, why should you pay the price except for the Lord? We begin in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Today we celebrate the feast and memorial of St. Ignatius of Loyola. As we begin this celebration, let us call to mind God's love and mercy. Lord Jesus, you came to show us the way to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you sent your spirit to guide us in this world. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive us of our sins. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us of our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who raised up St. Ignatius of Loyola in your church to further the greater glory of your name, grant that by his step, grant that by his help we may imitate him in fighting the good fight on earth and merit to receive with him a crown in heaven. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in unity to the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book, first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, whenever you eat or drink, or whatever you do, do everything for the glory of God. Avoid getting offense wherever the Jews or Greeks or the church of God. Just as I try to please everyone in every way, not seeking my own benefit, but that of the many, that they may be saved. The imitators of me, as I am the Christ. The word of the Lord. I will bless the Lord at all times. I will bless, I will bless the, the Lord, Lord at, all, at times. all times. Taste and see I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall ever be in my mouth. Let my soul glory in the Lord. The lowly will hear me and be glad. I will bless, bless the, the Lord, Lord at all times. times. Glorify the Lord with me. Let us together extol his name. I sought the Lord and he answered me and delivered me from all my fears. I will bless the Lord at all times. Look to him that you may be radiant with joy, and your face will not blemish, blush with shame. When the poor call out, the Lord heard, and from all their distress, he saved them. I will, I will bless, bless the Lord at all times. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and delivers them. Taste and see how good the Lord is. Blessed the man who takes refuge in him. I will bless the Lord at all times. Fear the Lord, you his holy ones, for naught is lacking to those who fear him. The great grow poor and hungry, but those who seek the Lord want no good thing. I will, I will bless, bless the, the Lord, Lord at all times. times. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The word of the Lord remains forever.
this word has been proclaimed to you. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus came to his native place and taught the people in the synagogue. They were astonished and said, Where did this man get such wisdom and mighty deeds? Is this, is, this, is this not the carpenter's son? Is not his mother named Mary? His brothers, James, Joseph, Simeon, Judas? Are not his sisters all with us? Where did this man get all this? Then they took offense at him. But Jesus said to them, A prophet is not, without, is not without honor except in his native place, in his own house. And he did not work many mighty deeds there because of their lack of faith. The Gospel of the Lord. As I said, today we celebrate the feast or memorial of St. Uh, Ignatius of Loyola. He was born in the um, late 1400s. He was the founder of the Jesuits. Um, he was of a wealthy class and part of their duty was to go and fight in battles and get military fame and conquest, uh, not only fame, but get fortune. On his way to this event, there was a cannonball shot and hit and shattered his leg and so he was in uh, convalescence and while he was uh, healing the, the only books he had access to were a reading on the life of Christ and the lives of the saints and this these books touched him deeply and his healing was quite painful um, he is said to have a vision of Mary the mother of God and so he made a pilgrimage at a shrine near Barcelona. And he remained there for almost a year. Um, and there, uh, through prayer, fasting, and sacraments, uh, he regained peace of mind. It's during this time that he began to write down what we call the spiritual exercises that many people use on retreat. Uh, he was a great mystic, uh, founder of the Jesuit Society. Um, they has a... Um, and uh, the famous phrase, ad majorem de gloriam, for the greater glory of God. They take uh, three vows, chastity, poverty, and obedience, but they take a fourth vow, and that is also uh, obedience to the Pope. The reading today is um, from Matthew, uh, when Jesus, he is out doing some ministry. It's like the hometown boy comes home. And at first, they're like, yeah, it's great, he's here. But then um, they're like, well, who is this guy, you know? They saw him grow up. They knew that he was a carpenter's son. And all these mighty deeds and all the things, are just like, where could this happen? And this humanness of Jesus must have been deflating for him. And so uh, their lack of faith uh, did not, inspire him or empower him to continue uh, this and is grieved that they did not accept him and he quotes a prophet is without honor except in his native place and home honor home house and the prophets of old could say that over and over that uh, most of the time prophets had things to say that people really didn't have to hear most of the time they had to suffer and often were uh, killed for their uh, stance and belief or what they preach about God um, in our own life we have to be open to the miracles of God in our own lives and the transformation of other people in our lives um, as a priest you know I've encountered many people and their conversion stories uh, some of us have the luxury of growing up in a fine home and having a conversion but not so dramatic some people throughout their life may have lost their way, have strayed and encountered the difficulties of life and almost perhaps um, 
got to the, the dark side of life and through conversion they found uh, Christ the other day I was listening to um, the radio and uh, they were talking about a man and his wife and they were having a lot of marital problems and she said you know I really believe that we are meant to be together but you have lost your faith in Christ and you need to go away and when you're ready to come back when you find Christ again I know we can make it but he believed that he could handle it himself he continued to um, work with his own efforts uh, it was the belief that he could do it all himself without much help without God without others his life continued down the road of disarray. And then one day he decided that this wasn't going anywhere. And he decided to get on his knees and prayed to Christ and said, Lord, please help me uh, find my way again. And so indeed he did. And uh, he gave his life to Christ. He began to clean up his act, called his wife right away. And she's... Uh, wisely didn't have him come right back but in about two months he did and he continued his journey and eventually became a minister so in our life we have to be open to God's work in others and ourselves um, to see the grace of God that God wants us to continue to have a conversion experience the last few days we've been going through Matthew and over and over we hear the different parables and stories of how God casts the net wide, how he sows the seed widely, and hopefully for the conversion of all. As we continue the celebration, let us ask the Lord to help us be an instrument of his grace to help others find the Lord. Let us continue our prayers. Mindful of God's promises, we present our prayers with trust in God's faithfulness. That the church leaders, stewards of our faith, will live in a way that will draw all believers to know Christ, we pray to the Lord. That the world government authorities will work together in the cause of global peace and work together as we uh, seek to solve the coronavirus, we pray to the Lord. That all who live with chronic illness may find assurances that they are always in God's tender care especially those pray for those who are in hospitals or care homes that are sick people at home sick and those afflicted with any disease especially with the COVID-19 we pray to the Lord let us pray for all who share pastoral gifts of hospitality be blessed with patient and loving hearts we pray to the Lord we pray that our parish grow in faith and respect for all believers we pray to the Lord let us pray for all who are traveling in the summertime. They may have a safe journey. We pray to the Lord. We pray for our youth, especially those who are celebrating graduations, that they may be kept safe and out of harm's way for their family members who travel to be there with them. We pray for all our educators and administration as they work towards opening the school for the fall. We pray to the Lord. We pray for all who have asked for our prayers, especially those names listed in the bulletin. And we pray for those prayers in the silence of our heart. We pray to the Lord. And for all who have died, that they may know eternal life, we pray to the Lord. Loving God, we thank you for the everlasting covenant. We bring our prayers in the name of Jesus, our hope and our peace, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Our Mass is intentions for all our intentions, but especially for Martin Johnson, for his soul and for his family. We Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Amen. 
Bless you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands that will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May these offerings we make to you as we celebrate St. Ignatius be pleasing, Lord our God, and grant that the, the, that the sacred mysteries which you have made the fount of all holiness may sanctify us to in truth. Through Christ our Lord, amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God, for you are praised in the company of your saints, and in the crowning their merits, you crown your own gifts. By their way of life, you offer us an example. By communion with them, you give us companionship. By their intercession, sure support, so that encouraged by so great a cloud of witness, we may run as victors in the race before us, and win within the imperishable crown of glory through Christ our Lord. And so with all the angels, the archangels, the great, throne, great multitude of saints, we sing the hymn of your praise without end as we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, earth, earth. You are indeed holy, Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly to his passion, he took bread and giving thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for the many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world. For by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring your church to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Joseph, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, the mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, St. Ignatius of Leola, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life. We may praise you and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Jesus taught us to turn to God for all our needs, and so at the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ.
Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant your church peace and unity in accordance with the will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer a sign of peace. God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, sins of the world, have mercy on us. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord,
Let us pray. May the sacrifice of praise that we have offered with thanksgiving in honor of St. Ignatius, O Lord, bring us to exalt your majesty without end. Through Christ, our Lord, amen. Uh, just a reminder for those who would like to know, our church is open daily um, for prayer. On Saturday, sometimes we have weddings. This Saturday, we do have a wedding, so it probably wouldn't be the most conducive environment for prayer, but you can come if you'd like. Um, we give thanks for all those who have been generous to our church in helping us support our ministries, either our local parishioners and those who have been viewing us virtually. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you all. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Today we do have Eucharistic Adoration um, directly following Mass until 4.30 p.m. We'll sing a second verse of Table Plenty. Come to the feast of heaven and earth. Come to the table of plenty. God will provide for all that we need here at the table of plenty. Oh, come and eat without money. Come to drink without price. My feast of gladness will feed your spirit with faith in fullness of life. Come to the feast of heaven and earth. Come to the table of plenty. God will provide for all that we need here at the table of plenty.